Okay, oh guys, I want to, before, because uh, I, I was going to talk to Phil about Stan Makita. I met Stan Makita uh, mm. 14, 15 years ago at, uh, at the... Uh, at the big hockey, you know, all the hockey manufacturers of the world are there yeah. at um, the Conven Metro West Convention Center. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I think he was with Bauer. I, he was with one of the the big brands. He and would be with Northland, Frank. North that was his helmet. His helmet. Well, I, uh, I don't think Northland exists anymore, but he was with somebody. That, I don't, he, I, but Stan Makita was there. And sitting there, and I, I said, you know, uh, Mr. Makita, I'm good friends with Tony Esposito and Phil Esposito. And I started talking to him. So I got him going, and then I go, okay, thank you for spending some time. He goes, where are you going? I go, what do you mean? He goes, well, you got me going here. You might as well sit here and let me fucking finish my story. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and he was Stan the Man. He was as perfect as I remember him when I was a kid. And I went to many Chicago Blackhawk games with Lou Angotti, uh, 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 Patty Stapleton. Um, Good old Whitey. Uh, the, uh, Jim Pappen, uh, uh, Tony Esposito, Bobby Hall, Dennis Hall, uh, and, and Billy Ray was the coach. And Murray Bannerman. Murray Bannerman was the backup coach. Uh, Remember the, him? Murray yeah, great pass. Mur Murray, Murray Bannerman. And, and, and just seeing Stan Makita there. And Stan Makita was one of the first players that I remember uh, who started wearing a helmet. Yes, he was. Because a lot of the That's other guys. Mm -hmm. And a lot he started to wear the, the can. Yeah, and, and he had an ugly helmet. Yeah, that was the Northland. <laughs> that was the Northland, yep. I, I never heard of Northland. It's been probably out of the business for a long time. They made sticks too, didn't they, Billy? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think a lot of the goalies were wearing, uh, using Northland. I think Tony Esposito had a Northland uh, yeah. uh, 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 a Northland uh, goalie stick, which weighed 3,482 pounds. Oh, man. Like going to a lumberyard, right? Last night, last night I wore uh, new Bauer goalie equipment on a skate. But they had made me the equipment, Billy, for the movie that we were making, but it came in late. Oh, so, yeah. So I wore Vaughn. But last night, I forgot I was wearing goalie pads. It's paper. It's paper mache. Yeah. I I can't fucking get over. Uh, when I was a kid, I wore Winwells stuffed with deer hair. And after the first period, they weighed a ton because they fucking soaked up the, the, the ice, the water. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, deer hair. What the fuck were they thinking? And they were made out of leather. Now, what I used to do is take Vaseline, uh, 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 petroleum jelly, and wipe it all in front of the pads uh, to keep it at least a little bit waterproof. But uh, to no avail. They still sucked up the water. Uh, but now it's incredible. But Stan Makita, Stan the man, unfortunately, uh, suffered from dementia. And... Uh, but but did he not have a, a an aneurysm or a, a a brain tumor at one time, guys? I don't know that, Frank. I don't think so. But I... okay, uh, Andrew, can you find out? I think that he had he had something happen to him, and I think that that's aggravated. Uh, Somebody said, I think, Frank, and I should that he his affliction was like having Lou Gehrig's disease in the mind. No, Lou Gehrig's disease is is uh, is a horrible, horrific uh, disease. Uh, Lou no, Gehrig's, no, I know that. Lou, but Lou Gehrig's disease is the nervous system uh, it gets to the point where the brain doesn't send the message, and people normally suffocate. That's what happened to uh, um, Robin Williams. No, Robin Williams did not have Lou Gehrig's disease. Robin oh, Williams uh, had well, was diagnosed either with uh, with Parkinson's or um, with Parkinson's, yes. But or no, no, it wasn't Parkinson's. It was, uh, it was. MS. It was, MS. It was, he, it, it, it was, it was connecting with the. Well, it was M. It was MS. I'm pretty sure it's MS. But Lou Gehrig's disease is completely different. Uh, Stephen Hawking was one of the longest survivors in the history of that disease. Um, and basically, you suffocate because your body does not send the impulses to the uh, muscles anymore to yeah. function. Anyways, uh, uh, Stan Makita, uh, I, 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 I believe, uh, on, uh, in 2000, was diagnosed with oral cancer and began uh, radiation. Uh, so he didn't have... 
um, he had dementia. Oh, he did, Frank. Yeah, he, he had dementia, progressive disease, uh, which is, which is terrible because uh, you know a lot of people don't understand, but dementia is the plaque that's in your arteries. Uh, bits and pieces keeps going as the arteries and some people tighten up uh, and I'm, you know I'm, I'm sure some of my doctor friends will call me about my explanation my uh, detailing of, uh, of dementia is uh, so the plaque uh, it, it, it carries in, in parts of the brain where you the short-term memory is just wiped right off and uh, it's crazy that the people can the, 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 I, I mean the the horrible ending of uh, of dementia is that people forget to breathe, forget to eat, they can't swallow. They, yeah. they don't know how to do that anymore, and that's how they die.